Today I'm making some clay mushrooms. I used this technique to make some mushrooms for the Halloween costume that I'll be wearing this year that you'll get to see on Halloween, but I'm making these specific mushrooms for a project that I'll be doing later this week. So I'm just starting with some Sculpey, flattening it out into a mushroom cap shape, and then scraping little lines for the gills into it with the backside of an X-Acto blade. This is the step that I repeat for every single mushroom. Some of them I make more domed, like this one. Some of them more flat, like the first. Uh, importantly for Sculpey, I try not to make the cap too thick, because it won't bake correctly. And the stems are just little tubes that are flattened out on one end, so I can glue them to stuff better. mushroom stem there is so I can attach it to a vertical surface and have it poking out. And a tiny little cap. A tiny little stem. Then these all go into the oven to bake for about 20 minutes. And then they get painted once they're cooled. I went in for the gills with most of them with just a slightly yellowed out white. Now these mushrooms aren't being painted in a very naturalistic sort of way. They're going for a pretty Halloween style. So a few of the gills are bright orange. And the stems are getting painted the slightly off-white color as well. Then I'm going in to paint the caps. I'm using the black, orange, green, purple Halloween color scheme. So we've got an orange cap, a green cap, some black. And purple. And another black cap on the tiny one there. Once they've dried a bit, I'm adding some polka dots. The purple one got some black polka dots. The green one's just getting a second coat of green. Orange cap's got some black polka dots as well. Black caps are getting some orange polka dots. And the green is getting some purple. And I'm going in with a black wash, which is just some very watered down acrylic paint. And I'm sort of dulling and bringing out texture on all the stems 
and I'm going to go through and do the same to all of the caps as well. And it's time to glue them all together. The gluing part is interesting because I'm using E6000 which doesn't dry incredibly fast so I have to rig up these weird support structures to keep the mushrooms standing and the stems in place where I want them to solidify which can be interesting. These are propped up in a combination of wires and paint bottles. seen people with great pegboard rigs where you just put pegs in where you need supports. I don't have that though, so paint bottles and wires it is. It does the trick. And here are the completed mushrooms. If you stick around later this week, you will see where I've used these little guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to go see yesterday's video, it's linked up for you. If you want to see what I'm doing the rest of October, please subscribe.